it's very interesting. There is not much of a discussion uh, in the in the uh, public uh, knowledge about how the Ottomans entered the war. We know it. Uh, they made a secret deal with the Germans on the 2nd of August, and next day, on the 3rd of August, Enver Pasha declared general mobilization. However, Ottomans' entry to the war uh, took place on the 29th of October, which is, you know, two months later. Uh, on the 29th of October, Ottoman Navy attacked to the Russian Navy in the Black Sea and bombed the port cities of Russians like uh, Novorossiysk and other uh, big uh, port cities on the uh, Black Sea coast. Uh, the Ottomans at this context were the belligerent forces. I mean, they were the ones who were attacking. In the national memory, this is forgotten. This is not mentioned at all. On the contrary, among the uh, nationalist historians, uh, the entrance to the war has been uh, narrated in such a way that as if the Ottomans didn't want to enter the war, but Germans convinced them to do so. This is very interesting. Uh, I mean, they were dying to enter to the war. They thought that the um, alliance with the Germany and Austria-Hungarian Empire would, would create some positive results for the Ottomans. And they were very much afraid of British uh, imperial power, British Navy, and the Russian army. And they wanted to secure themselves by aligning themselves to Germany and Austria-Hungary. But this is not mentioned at all. And the funny thing is also related to the end of the war. Uh, if you sit down and study the uh, history textbooks uh, written for the uh, Turkish high schools or gymnasiums, uh, at the end of the war uh, it is mentioned that Germans lost the war and being al alive allies with the Germans, the Ottomans lost the war as well. I mean, this is absurd. Uh, they lost the war because Bulgarians simply asked for ceasefire and they stopped, and it was impossible uh, for the o Ottomans to receive ammunition and military supplies from Germany because the Bulgarians were stopping the railway. And they had to stop the war. And this is not mentioned in that manner. It is, I mean, the beginning and the end of the war, it is always blurred. It's always a kind of iron doubt in the, uh, in the history writing. It is, uh, it is very sad to see such a thing existing after 100 years. Thank you very much. Okay.